So this video is about having a very high gain lead sound, which I don't use that often, but sometimes I need it. I had a diesel VH4 for years. I bought it pre-owned in the early 2000s. It had Muller tubes in it. I got really lucky. It was a great sounding one. I sold it recently and I knew when I sold it that someday I would need to replace it with something that got a super saturated high gain lead sound. Now the guys from Bad Cat were over here the other day. They brought four heads. They left two of them for me to evaluate. They're just borrowed, just trying them out. They both sound good. This is the Lynx and it has a high gain lead channel. I have paired this amp with a Floyd Rose Delmar guitar made in USA with the speed plate, which is a really cool invention. Check these out on Floyd's website. There's tons of videos with different people, including me demonstrating this, this guitar. I'm playing through a Marshall 412 cabinet with Celestian speakers from 1970. There's four 25 watt Celestians which are quite old. I have a Royer 122V and a 57 blended through these two BAE Neve style mic pre's straight into Pro Tools. So this is sort of a legato style of lead playing that is different from what I usually gravitate towards. I'm a late 60s, early 70s hound when it comes to guitar sounds. And then certainly in the rhythm zone, it's more like edge of breakup, like, you know, Mike Campbell, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, that kind of sound. Or even 90s rock, that's where I live. But this is different. This is more like Holdsworth, just super saturated, creamy lead. And it's really great up high on the neck. But this kind of super saturated sound lends itself to this style of playing. And it's always a trade-off. When you get something this saturated up top, the bottom, the lower notes are not gonna be as defined. They still sound good. In fact, they sound pretty great. <laughs> You can see I just switched to the bridge pickup. I really, really, on any Strat, I always gravitate towards the neck pickup, the Hendrixy throaty, Stevie Ray Vaughan neck pickup. And that goes even for a sound like this. But the bridge on this guitar sounds good too. And as you can see, I've always used the bar for subtle effects, not the big dive bomb stuff, but just, just subtle massaging the bar for vibrato. So let's check out the four choices available from the foot switch of this amp. Start with channel one. Okay, let me add the boost. Now we move to channel two, boost off. Now channel two with the boost on, which is what I was doing my solo on. This is full distortion, full high gain. Now you heard the gate click off for just a second. I think what happened is I, I put my, there it is. See if I put my palm there. So you have to be sensitive to how well this gate works and it's pretty easy. So here's a pretty clean tone on channel one. If I hit it harder and turn the volume knob from eight to 10, I get more edge of breakup. Let's check out the bass knob. How about the mid knob? Mm -hmm. 
I actually like it all the way up for this lead tone that I've been using. Now the treble. And the presence. So now let's take it to the most saturated lead sound and turn on the gate. It's, it's taking away all the noise. Here we go. Every amp that has a high gain stage has this kind of noise inherent in it in one form or another. This is a good feature because it takes it all away. You don't even know it's there. So you just hear all the playing and none of the noise. Pretty cool. So one more thing. I just picked up my Supro Baritone to answer the question, will it chug? I watch Ola England on YouTube and he's got this series called Will It Chug? <laughs> so let's answer the question. I think it chugs. <laughs> Hey, Bad Cat doesn't even know I made this video. They're going to see it when you do. I'm just trying to help out some friends who make great stuff. If you want guitar lessons, click the link below for the online masterclass. We're up to 150 hours, 1,800 videos. There's a 100 video beginners course. Also, if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and ring the bell. That's the only way we can let you know every time we release a new video.